All right, so this is for you. If you are sitting there and you are ready to go live in Facebook, or not Facebook, if you are ready to go live in Airbnb, like you've been, you stayed at Airbnbs, you watched friends uh, make money in Airbnb, and you're like, I want to go for this, but how do I, how do I get in there? I'm going to show you the pro the step, the brief step-by-step -step process I used to cash flow in like 42 days. It was like I'll have to check exactly. I think it was under 40 days. Uh, so here you go. So. Uh, so we've got Airbnb. You could do this on um, Vacasa or Verbo or any of the short-term vacation rental sites. Um, all right, I just used Airbnb. It's my favorite platform, so that's what I'm talking about. We're just talking about short-term vacation rentals. All right, so step one, you are gonna lock in a property. This is, especially if you don't own a home, if you own a home, you're already light years ahead, like you're even ready to go now. If you don't own a home, you have no you have no huge savings, you have no big property, this is gonna get you there. So step one is just hunt. Go on the hunt. You're gonna do this in three parts. You're gonna dial into, you're gonna dial into family, family and friends, right? So that's that's your network. So and it immediately talk to all your family, all your friends, and you're just saying like, Hey, do you have uh, maybe even one of them has like an additional dwelling unit over their garage, or they've got <clears throat> a guest house, or they they have an extra property? And like, yeah, you can totally rent it. So that's this is how I found my first property. Is it was a uh, an associate of a family member. So uh, you're gonna dig into family and friends, and and also be asking friends of friends, friends of family. So uh, it could be especially. Real estate, people that you know that are in real estate, that are real estate agents or brokers, and there's a connection there, that's gonna be a really easy spot because they're gonna know people in the city and they might know investors with two or three homes or they might know maybe someone that's older that has a few properties that is kind of looking to wind down. So you're gonna go on the hunt. And this is where it's just like blitz time. You are, you're going for it. Uh, and this is gonna be, this is gonna be, let's say, day one to 14, first two weeks, you are just hunting. So family and friends, B, you're gonna look, we'll call it Furbo, for rent by owner, okay? Because property management companies are the buffer between the owner and the renter. And so you, I didn't have as much luck. I did talk to property management companies and I picked their brain, but if, the, if it's a property it's a, um, that's managed by a property management company, they're gonna have just, they might have general policies, that they don't do that kind of thing. Um, so I would look for like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, all of the listings, but look for um, where it's rented, it's being rented by the owner because then you can have a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation. They can get to know you, uh, they can meet you and you can give them your pitch of what you're trying to do. So uh, family and friends, uh, uh, for rent by owner. And honestly, I would just say like everywhere, get creative. like. Think of every creative solution you can find to find a property. It could be, you could be driving around town and um, I would do this. I would be driving around town. I live in Salem, Oregon and I would just look for, for rent signs in homes. Cause like sometimes see the ones that look like they're not, they look more uh, like not as super professionals. Like, all right, that's probably a uh, for rent by owner. Okay. So first you're going to hunt down. All right. Then obviously the next process is you're going to negotiate you're gonna ne negotiate the lease, okay? Um, that's we're gonna call that day 15. So by the end of week, by the end of two weeks, um, and you should have if you have 100 conversations with people, you see 10 properties, you should be able to lock one in, okay? So you wanna you wanna be able to talk to at least 100 people on the phone. Uh, you wanna go look physically at least 10 with a homeowner or someone that can make that decision. You should get one. Uh, lease lock that in. You, the only thing you're gonna need is a you're gonna need an addendum to that contract. Uh, I'll just say sub point addendum. Just need to make sure there's an addendum in the contract that says, hey, you can sublet this property and uh, we know you're gonna use it for short-term vacation rental so there's no uh, sneakiness. Okay, you've got that locked in. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to, you're going to furnish, you're gonna furnish that property. Uh, this is, honestly, Walmart has super upped their game in a lot of their home decor. I know it sounds funny, but you want to do this for as cheap as possible, okay? This is for this is not for someone that's trying to go into the luxe category in Airbnb. That's their luxury estates properties. 
this is like you you can make it look nice i i'm in the west coast here in the northwest so uh in portland oregon so you can go fred meyer has some really good artwork that for it is always like half off so you you for very cheap you can you can furnish the home so i'm gonna adjust that kind of okay you can furnish it i would do walmart i would look on craigslist facebook marketplace uh and there's a few other ways so you're going to furnish it then number four is it still catching it yeah we're still catching okay number four you're going to do an iphone photo shoot here we go iPhone photo shoot. I paid someone like a couple hundred bucks. I was a real estate photographer to do, to shoot my first home. And uh, I ended up going back through and, and taking pictures with my iPhone and editing it. And I liked what I did way better. So honestly, just do a shoot with your iPhone and you'll be fine. Okay. Uh, you'll be way fine. Uh, there we go. Okay. I want to get the bottom here. Uh, so you're going to, you're going to photo shoot. You're going to shoot the front yard, the backyard, everything that you've got. Uh, and let's say you're doing a two bedroom Two bedroom, one bath. Okay, uh, so you're gonna do the photo shoot, and then uh, number five, you're gonna do. Let me get down here. Um, number five, you're going to do the. You're gonna create your Airbnb profile. Okay, and I know some of this seems like super basic, if, but I'm talking to the person that like, if you want to get rock and roll with Airbnb, and you just ha don't aren't quite sure of the steps. This is it. Like. I know it's basic, but you got to start at square one. You're going to create your profile. Okay, that's that's your. You're going to hook up, um, hook up your bank. You're going to create, just take a picture of yourself. Um, you're going to put all your photos there. So under the profile, under the profile goes your photos. Okay, we'll just say words here. All your and these are things that I'll do. I can do more videos on. You're going to do your photos, all the all the descriptions of all the photos and what you have there in the neighborhood. Uh, and then you're going to open your calendar on there, okay? Um, all right. So you're going to you're going to set up your calendar in here. You're going to put all your descriptions, all your photos, and then number six, we'll put it over here, is just simply go live. It's not. It's really not complicated. It's not complicated at all. Okay. It's it's launching an Airbnb is super simple. There's a lot of strategies and tactics to how you create a profitable business, but your first property is really pretty simple. Uh, so you're going to go live, and on that you're going to be controlling your calendar down here, uh, and hopefully you've got a wide open calendar. And the three, the five things. So so go live. Your first objective on going live and hosting people is to get five stars. That's your first objective. This is the the economy of Airbnb is. Five stars, okay? That's what you get. Your, your biggest thing is to be a super host and you get five stars. The second thing, element on going live, is uh, you're just, it's price drop. So you're gonna, I know it keeps switching back and forth. You're gonna go, you, the goal is to just fill the calendar as fast as possible and get five star reviews. So you're gonna, you're gonna go live with your calendar. You got your photos up, your description. You're gonna, your goal is to get five stars. You're gonna price drop, so you're gonna you want it to be the cheapest of its kind in the area. You, you're not worried about going being profitable the first month. You can take a loss. You just want to get um, a handful of five star reviews, and and so that so that people can see that there's traffic. If you've ever looked on Airbnb at properties and you're like, hey, something weird, like this property doesn't have any reviews. This feels weird. It feels scammy. Or this property has um, one or two reviews. So uh, that's it. So. You're gonna go live. You're gonna have. You really want five star reviews. Uh, you're gonna focus just on price dropping to get it going, and that's the basics. That's the basics. There's obviously a ton more in there. So again, day one through fourteen, you're gonna be hunting. Okay, family, friends, uh, for rent by owner on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist, uh, and really everywhere. Get creative. Okay, day fifteen, you negotiate that that contract. You sign a, a just a typical lease with an addendum that says. They're like, it's cool for you to use it on Airbnb. Okay, you're gonna furnish it. You should be able to do that, I would say day, let's say day, um, you should do that in three days, tops. Day 16 to 18, you get it all at Walmart, Fred Meyer, Craigslist. Um, maybe you need to rent, rent a U-Haul van and pick a bunch of stuff up. Uh, so you should be able to buy it and furnish it in like three days, okay? Uh, and and that, that should be simple. Okay, we'll say iPhone, Photo shoot, 
we'll say day 19. That should just take a day. You photo shoot, you edit it, you're easy to go. Okay, um, again, the profile, all right? The profile, uh, we'll say day 20. Um, that should just take a day. It, um, you know, you, you get your descriptions down. Maybe you have someone that's a really good writer help you. It's really uh, creative writing. Um, you organize that. And pull in friends and fans, pull in people that are good at, good at, if someone's really good with their iPhone and you, they're, they're your son, daughter, or friend, and you're like, hey, would you come and do an iPhone photo shoot in my house? There's people that would love doing that. Okay, and then number six, um, you're, going, you're going live. Uh, and let's say, honestly, let's say that this is, um, let's say that this takes 10 days, okay? Let's say for whatever reason, uh, day 21 to day 30, um, let's say that that, let's say that that takes you 10 days. So the bulk of it, right? The bulk of this is like looking for a property and then getting people in. So that's, this isn't like a crazy, and, and I'm even building in, I was saying in 42 days, so six weeks, um, this isn't a crazy schedule. I know it seems crazy, but, um, but you're, you're going all in, you're, you're hustling. And this is close to the timeline. I probably, and let's even, we could even, you know, there's really almost a couple weeks here uh, that could be added for uh, and still be under the six weeks mark. So rapid, really, you can do this in 30 days, I promise you. Um, and especially if you have a home already, uh, a, a, a rental home, you can easily turn it into an Airbnb like simple and and you have total control over an airbnb so that's a brief outline i hope that helps uh please leave me a comment subscribe let me know questions i'm i'm thinking about doing a number of uh, videos on, on about airbnb the process and method and systems i use to make money and i have to look at my numbers i think i did last 12 months that i was really pushing it i think i uh, net I netted like one hundred and twenty thousand uh, dollars. now obviously that's not profit. There's a lot of expenses, but uh, yeah, it's, it's an amazing opportunity. Okay. Let me know what your thoughts and uh, how I can help you in the future.